Right guys, so we're doing a review today after ages. Uh, as you know, I've been doing a lot of the GTI project videos. So I'm here in London today. Um, I've come down from Birmingham. And um, yeah, I've come to meet up with the guys at Black Badge Automobiles. You guys might remember them when I did the video on their um, RS3 saloon. Now you will have seen in the title already, we're doing a video on the M2 competition. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but the thing is, I wanted to do quite a special one, not just any M2 competition. So, without delaying you guys too much, We'll get into it and show you guys how it compares to my M2. Right people, so here it is, M2 competition. Part of Black Badge Automobiles fleet, virtually everything ticked. There's so much carbon on it, I'm gonna have to go through it one by one. First bit of carbon, the grill, as you can see the outline there. Now I have got my M2 here, regular M2, but it is an LCI, so I'll give you guys an idea of how they compare in a bit. We've got the carbon front splitter. This is the new design one, goes all the way. Um, as you can see, the M2 competition does have a slightly more aggressive front end. The grills are joined. Whereas on the previous M2, you had like a separate grill. Got the Icon headlights, same as well. They were introducing the facelift M2. Um, other bits of carbon. These are similar to the ones you could get before, but yeah, it's just got everything, man. New M2 competition also gets the M style mirrors. As you can see, carbon on there as well. So we've got the 763 M wheels, uh, wrapped in Pilot Sport Cup 2s. These wheels, I have seen them before or driven them on the M4 CS, but that particular car didn't have the Cup 2s. So quite looking forward to seeing how they perform with this. Now the M2 competition, it does weigh a bit more than the old M2, um, around 50 kilos, but a lot of this carbon should hopefully bring that weight down a bit. But one of the more important sort of differences with the competition is these optional new style M Sport brakes. They're six piston at the front. Now to me, because I already own the existing M2, one of my main complaints is the brakes. I feel that they don't really give you confidence. Now you still get the blue brakes standard on these, but these are the optional ones, so should be good to try out. Move around the back. Excuse a bit of noise here, we have got some AC pipes or something like that. But yeah, around the back with a big wing. Another very expensive option. As I said, so much carbon on this thing. Got the diffuser as well. And also got the new exhaust tips as well, finished in black. We have got this weird, other looking thing at the bottom. It is a bit strange, I know, but it's just the way it is with the S55. But yeah, we've got the sunroof as well. Moving on to the interior. More M Performance extras in here. So we've got a carbon sill plate. M2 comp also gets the M3 and M4 style seats. Illuminated badge, but there is one difference still. Uh, these are the regular ones, so they don't have the competition style cutout, you know, on the M3 and M4 competition where they have the holes there. And they also finished in Dakota leather. So not the um, Merino style M leather that you get in the M3 and M4. This car also has got the M4 V2 wheel. Very nice, so you got the Alcantara on the sides. It's kind of like a square grip you could say. And the rest of the interior is very similar to mine because mine is the LCI. I'm going to open up the engine bay and show you guys the new S55 engine or new to the M2 anyway. Right, so familiar procedure I'm just really excited to try these brakes out man I know I've said it a couple of times now this bonnet here is a work of art it's a totally new product as you can see the carbon there but it's not just carbon in the middle it's the whole thing is carbon it's just got this painted finish around there to give it a bit more make it look a bit more classy you could say you don't want a full carbon bonnet it might look a bit out of place on 80 grand car but there we go S55 engine, very familiar with this engine, driven it in the M3, M3 competition pack, M4 CS. So yeah, around 400 horsepower, twin turbo inline six. Now one of the complaints of this engine, performance aside, is the sound. They haven't really managed to resolve that in the sort of, how many years has it been? It's been around, I think they came out, what, 2014 with the F80? So various exhaust systems, the various companies have tried it, but it's just the way the engine is. The performance is all there though. Um, in the M3 that is, I haven't had a go in this yet, but yeah, as you can see, the M2's finally got this carbon strut brace. Very nice. That comes standard, of course, with the S55 engine, but yeah, when you stand back a bit, 
and see against this car is like optional front grille this carbon splitter the mirrors as well and the soft 763 m wheels you could say this car is almost like one m2 csl would look like that's what i think anyway slightly different to the way the standard m4 cs bonnet looks that's a bit different here we've got this kind of dual layer kind of thing going on but yeah two prongs as well i remember last time when i closed the m4 cs bonnet i want to be very careful it's not cheap 80 grand car this is i know they start off what mid 40s for a completely basic m2 competition but you can say this thing's got about 30 40 grand extras on it but yeah guys what we'll do now we'll turn this thing on get some revs going then we might get a little rev battle with my m2 as well all right the dials have a slight different font now there are some reviewers who have said these dials are completely different to the old ones they're not the difference is a slight different font and it says m2 there because if you know your m2s you'll know that there was a faceless m2 like mine which came with the lci icons and came with this dash now i've also got the m drive select buttons i tend to use audi terms i know but we've got the power here steering here too m2 competition is missing a button here because that's where the damper button is like on the f80 of course got m buttons now too and yeah we've got front parking sensors that's another thing if you didn't know uh the non-competition m2 doesn't have front parking sensors so i have really find an issue but if you want front parking sensors you gotta get a competition but yeah we'll get some revs going Right guys, so that was a little comparison of the sound between the competition and the regular M2. As you can see, the N55 does of course sound better, but everyone knows that anyway. There are some downsides to the N55 though, because of course I've lived with mine for nearly a year, I think, or has it been eight, nine months. And the one issue with the regular N55 M2 is it gives all your power straight away, like as in round the town. It's very aggressive, but it tends to tail off at the top end. Sound is all personal preference. Some people like the, uh, you know, sort of, overrun on these things because you gotta remember these things have that exhaust filter on them now so they are a bit muffled from the factory but yeah what we'll do now we'll head out take on some country roads um yeah we'll just find some nice roads to take the m2 competition on and see how it's like right folks so in the m2 competition I feel like i'm at home as well again because i jumped straight out my m2 into this so all the driving position and the size of the car is just so familiar to me one thing that is noticeable straight away, of course, is the S55 engine. The way I'm gonna do this review, uh, we'll get straight to how it differs rather than going over all of the stuff that you can read online. Because this one having so much spec on it, some of the stuff like weight, etc., is gonna be different because this thing's got light alloys on it, it's got full on carbon bonnet and stuff like that. So, you know that 50 kilo difference that there is with the going from the regular m2 to the comp might be a bit different on this thing this one's got the m2 button map to sport plus everything uh, traction is in mdm and um yeah gear shift ferocity is on three yeah you finally got a gear shift ferocity thing on the m2 now before you never had that there was only one setting i've had to drive it up to these roads so i've already pushed it a bit and um, the extra power is noticeable mainly at the top end uh, the one thing with the n55 m2 the outgoing one they're very punchy low down like it shoves you and it makes all these awesome noises but you know at the top end it does suffer uh, whereas this seems to be a bit more progressive and also now with the s55 and i've said s55 about 10 times but yeah we've got a high red line now so we've got well over 7000 uh, whereas the old one used to kind of run at a puff around 6k look i've got an m2 myself so it's not a biased review i've lived with that car you m2 owners will know that as well comparing stock versus stock and all that stuff twin turbo engine and this thing much more tuning capabilities the sound is a bit mute so far i've got everything open and you can't really hear much feels very f80 like turning's good as mentioned can't feel the weight got the lovely icon headlights line up the road i'm very familiar with them on my car it's still an optional extra as it was on the um 
LCI N55 M2. As you can see, these rods are a bit sketchy, so. See? <laughs> Wants to kick out there. Cuts in very aggressively, even though it is an MDM. Let's give it some feed in. Yeah, it really gets cracking at the top end. See, first gear is kind of jumpy, you know, you get that Sport Plus jump like you got on the F80, where the gas pedal's like kangarooing around. You do get that still, which I was a bit surprised about. I thought by 2019 they will have fixed that, but no. Then. You let the car sing and you've got a proper animal. Yeah, I'm just impressed with the brakes, man. The brakes are one of the... The brakes and the top end power are what stands out to me. The rest of stuff like the seats and the front grille and all that stuff is kind of just whatever. The seats look good, but to me it's more about how does it feel like to drive in support wise. I'm more about that. So yeah, it's a nice bonus. It's got better looking seats now, but in terms of driving differences, man, extra top end power and these optional brakes make sure you go for them because i do not really rate the blue ones at all anymore just how it's been after driving it for best part of eight months on my car just not feeling them man not feeling them if you tune this you know because of course you've got that engine that can make well over 500 horsepower if you get cracking with the tune it'd be a dangerous car man because it's quite short i don't know if you might be better off tune in something like the f80 because you got a bit more of a car around you but this is like a little little car and i've been found draws back to the rivers if you tune it might get a bit dangerous apologies if i ain't got a fly boys i am by myself but yes yeah, floor in first see how it gets down bit of overrun work it's neutral yeah if you guys get one of these cars make sure you get that filter removed man Okay, you saw that there. The thing just chucked away all its power, but it's a bit of fun. <laughs> this is probably turned into a night POV. You can still see the steering wheel though, I guess. I've actually got the sunroof open to allow for a bit more light. Car's hooking up a bit more now. Yep. Planted. If this is what this is like, imagine what the CS is going to be like. Yeah, that top end, that's where it comes in. Right guys, so I know this ending's a bit abrupt, but we're back at base now. I've brought the car back to where we started. Um, I had an ending filmed back where the uh, country roads were, but I felt like I had to do another one, simply because I fully got to send this car on the way back. Yeah man, I thought I had to fully wrap this whole video up properly in the way my actual thoughts are with this car. Now, the thing with the M2 competition is, if you only drive it for say 5-10 minutes, you won't really feel the full sort of benefit of the upgrades. You know, once you get to grips with then you've driven it for say a couple of hours like I was doing. Um, and towards the end there, I was fully like sending it around the corners and everything like that. The power is a huge difference, that's just there, factual of course. That's my car there, so I do know the current M2 very well. It just keeps flying up to the red line, even in its current state of tune. Um, yeah, it loves to rev. Yeah, some people have said it needs a bit more, it's a bit restricted, you know, in some of these reviews, but you know, if you judge it based off the outgoing M2, big upgrades. In terms of the handling, yeah, that was another thing. The, the front end is a bit more secure. You know, once the tires all warmed up and the car's just like ready, yeah, when it goes on the bend, it, it, it does business, trust me. At the start, you will have seen it was a bit twitchy. But after a while, once I got into you with the car, yeah, absolute machine, guys, definitely. Of course, this one is an £80,000 car, but the purposes for which it's used, of course, black badge automobiles, they do rent these cars out. So this one is available for rent, as there are many ones, like this lovely spec Golf R, got the Cayman GT4 there as well, so... For them, it's more about they wanting to have this thing really like specced up to the max. So, yeah, not every M2 competition is going to look like this, but yeah, fair play, man, fair play. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Um, 
also let me know if you did enjoy seeing a review again on my channel make sure you subscribe for a lot more content to come and also make sure to check out black badge automobiles as well for your rental needs on very um fancy cars i'll say yeah take care guys